This video is sponsored by Clefoba, more about them later on in the video. Now I'm gonna keep this video short, it was just something I thought about earlier on in the week when I was editing videos. And I looked over at my M4 Pro Mac Mini, which is just sitting over there. And I wondered, well, reminisced about all that money I spent on it, upgrading the RAM, upgrading the CPU cores and GPU cores. Luckily I didn't upgrade the storage, otherwise that would have been a whole different number we're talking about. And I thought, is this something I could recommend to someone now? As I looked at the date and it was seven months after the actual purchase date of my M4 Pro Mac Mini, I know time flies. And the result may actually shock you. You know, in the process of moving to the M4 Pro Mac Mini, I had the M1 Max MacBook Pro, and I think I had this thought that I need to future-proof. I need to upgrade to the latest. I need to get the most RAM. I need to get the most CPU cores. Because for some reason, I thought that I'm not gonna be upgrading for a long time, which as a tech reviewer, we know that that's not true. And also I thought that I'm gonna be doing some mega, mega, intense workflow that also isn't quite true but i mean editing 4k timelines and whatnot can get quite intensive when you have multiple layers and whatnot but that's something completely different to what i had in my head but i was always trying to justify it with this is my work i need to get the best machine i can i need to future proof and in the end was that really necessary probably not so when it comes to tech, especially and when we do these purchases, usually there's this sense of hindsight when you look back after a couple of months or something and you think, did I really need that upgrade? Did I really even need to purchase it? Did I need all that RAM? Why did I spend so much money on them CPU, GPU cores? And why on earth did I pay that much for that extra storage? But in that moment when you were purchasing it, the only thing you could think about was making an excuse or finding an excuse for every single upgrade you did as if you needed more computing power than actual Facebook. And then you were making yourself 100% convinced going on YouTube, trying to find some confirmation bias, just enough for somebody to say, well done, you made the right decision. And to be honest, I don't think that's something that's gonna change. We're just programmed to want the best of the best, or at least the best that we can afford. But there are some good things about the Mac Mini and the M4 Pro Mac Mini. And before we get into them, here's a little segment about today's video sponsor, Calefo. The right lighting can drastically change the way we enjoy content, and that's exactly where Calefo comes into play. It's a smart lighting system that lives behind your TV, and not only will it display the color you select through the app, but it will also react to music and even react to what you have displayed on the screen in real time. Now, some of the features for the LED strip is it has over 16 million RGB CW colors, a 1 to 100% stepless dimming, and it also has 126 LEDs per meter LED density, which gives it that really nice diffused look, and that's how you really know it's a high quality LED strip. You also have through the app over 60 different scenes you can select, which have their own unique color combination. The small HDMI sync box is where the magic actually happens though. This sync box has the ability to connect to up to 50 different Calefo lights, and it will sync these lights to either the music you're listening to or the content that displayed on your actual screen in real time, whether it be you watching content or even gaming. So the sync box actually uses Bluetooth to connect your lights, so no extra wires needed and no Wi-Fi needed for the setup process. It's a simple plug and play installation with no extra steps, so you can start using it right away. It supports both 4K and HDR10 plus high quality content, and it's all controlled through the easy to use app. There's no need for a webcam on top of the TV to scan what's on the screen because the sync box actually uses the signal that comes through the HDMI port and that allows for a much more accurate lighting experience. Some other products Calefo have is a 340 degree rotary RGB CW smart tube light which you can place on your bedside, your wall or even the TV stand like I have underneath my TV. Also they have Calefo gradient bar lamps which are perfect for the PC for them hardcore gaming sessions or just when you're watching some content. As somebody who loves to watch movies on the big screen and play games, it's definitely made my experience so much better and so much more immersive. Now, if you wanna check it out for yourself, there'll be a link in the description box and the comments box below. You won't be disappointed. And I just wanna say thank you to Calefo for supporting the channel. So there are some things that haven't really changed since the M4 Mac Mini has been released. In my opinion, the M4 Mac Mini is still one of the best value for money machines out there, especially when we look at the price to performance ratio that I don't think there's anything better 
in the same category, especially if you already have a monitor and the peripherals to connect to it. I think the machine is more than powerful enough for probably 95% of people out there. And the other 5% are not the kind of people that are gonna be worrying, is this machine powerful enough for me? They're already gonna know what kind of power they need, what kind of workload they're working on, and what kind of programs they're using. But the rest of the people out there, you'll be perfectly fine. It's a great gift. Whether you wanna just gift it to someone at home, buy it for yourself, or gift it to a family member going to college, it's perfect for that. When it comes to the storage in these machines, the M4 Mac Mini base model, of course, comes with 256 gigabytes of storage. Some people are gonna to wanna to upgrade to 512 gigabytes, just to have that peace of mind. But I personally think upgrading any more than 512 gigabytes, you're basically throwing away money. There are so many more better solutions out there for external storage. And I've done a bunch of videos on the channel. You've got external NVMe enclosures, whether it be Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 5, you've got NAS drives. Now you've got a bunch of hubs, which not only give you extra storage possibilities on the M4 Mac Mini, but they also give you extra ports, whether it be USB-A, USB-C, or even SD card ports, which is something that the M4 Mac Mini doesn't come with. I guess the takeaway of this video is, could I recommend the M4 Pro Mac Mini that I purchased for myself, the upgraded model with the 48 gigabytes of unified memory and that extra cores for the CPU and GPU for somebody to buy in August, 2025? And the answer to that is no. And the reason for that is I've gone online, done some browsing, and currently you can get the M4 Max Studio. I know what you're gonna say, it's a larger machine. For me personally, the M4 Mac Mini, the size was never the appealing part. It was the price and performance. And you can get now the M4 Mac Studio, you can get 36 gigabytes of unified memory. You can get the 512 gigabytes of storage. Comes with a 10 gig ethernet port as standard. It gives you extra ports. It gives you extra Thunderbolt 5 connection, SD card slots, probably better cooling system as well. Not only that, but the memory bandwidth on the actual M4 Max Studio is almost twice as fast as the one on the M4 Pro Mac Mini. And you got some great deals going now. Just as an example, you can get a brand new one on B&H. I think it's around just under $2,000. Apple on their own website are selling the renewed or refurbished M4 Mac Studio for under $1,700 with all them specs on it. And then even on Amazon, you can get an M2 Mac Studio for I think it was $900. Even if you want to get for the base model M4 Mac Mini now, usually it was $599. I think now it's around $540. So now is even a good offer for that one. And I'll leave links to all of these in the description box below if you want to grab it. The main thing I'm saying is there was great deals out there. So although the M4 Mac Mini was a really good machine when it came out, when you add all these upgrades on, Sometimes it doesn't add to the best bang for your buck as it did when it was the base model. So make sure to look out there, shop out there. If size doesn't matter too much to you and you don't mind going from that M4 Mac Mini to the slightly larger M4 Mac Studio, I think the Studio one is gonna be far better, especially if you're doing video editing or any sort of stuff like that. You're gonna get more cores, more GPU cores, and you're gonna get dual video encoders. So when it comes to editing videos, it's gonna be a lot faster. So I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments box below what you think down below. And if you've got any questions, of course, leave them in the comments box below. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for all your support and thanks for watching. See ya.